All right, we're taking a, all the dogs on an adventure. We got Tater Tot, Fitz, oh, I almost tripped. Uh, Bosco, Zeke, Riggs. We are on, uh, I think this is 80 acres out behind my house. So we're taking a, doing a little adventure. Letting the dogs be dogs. This is probably the number one thing that people need to do with their dogs, in my opinion. You got to get out in the woods. You got to get out in the, away from everything and let your dogs be dogs. Let them run. Let them sniff. Let them get dirty. Dogs aren't meant to be cooped up in a house all day. They're animals. This is what they love more than anything in the world. I don't care if you have a three pound Yorkie. Get them out and let them run around in the woods and be a dog. No matter if they're, a, if they're three pounds or 60 pounds, they're still dogs. Look at this guy, he loves it. How fits. Got my, part, got my trusty partner here, Colton. My son. A lot of open land. A lot of, oh, somebody's got a deer stand sitting there. Hope we're not bugging them. Come on, guys. This is a perfect little pasture for hunting. We're about to set our coyote blind up right over there. Come on. Good dogs. How many times are we gonna get that? We're gonna get at least two. <laughs> Riggs and Bosco. There goes Fitz. Fitz, this is really, really, really what Fitz needs to do. Fitz. He's kind of a, a nervous, anxious, uh, nervous Nelly when he's cooped up and around all the, all the people and everything. But once we get him out here in the, out in the field and letting him hike around, he really just, different dog when he does this. Tall. Yeah, this grass is tall. Where's Taters and Zeke? There they are. All right. What are you doing? You gonna eat that tree? Fighting a stick. All right, watch out, guys. We got barbed wire here. Step on it with you guys. Come on. Watch your paws. Watch your paws. Let's go. Good boy, Zeke. Then y'all better injure yourself. Good girl, Tates. Why are you? Why are you fighting all the woods you find? That's a safari machine. The Honda Pioneer 1000. She got that bad boy. Those tires aren't getting stuck. How oh, fits. <laughs> Taters wants to go in the back. Want to open it up for her? Yep. There you go. Right up there. Yep, that's where they like it. You might as well close it up, take them up to the house. We're gonna head that way. Tanner is small, but she has a lot of pops. She does have some hops. There's not any dog behind me. There's not. Riggs, come here. Riggs!
So this is what we do with the dogs at the old uh, Top Dog Ranch. We don't just sit around inside a room all day and pretend like the dogs are children at a daycare because that's not what they are. They're, they're dogs. They're animals. Treat them like animals. Let them be animals. It's, in my opinion, it's kind of a disservice when you don't let your dogs get out and be dogs and get dirty. So, all right, well, that concludes the, the hike. He <laughs> just joy riding with the dogs over there. All right, we'll see you later. <whistles> Bosco, come here, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Toodles. It's a long pee, Fitz. <laughs>